go starting the starting the uh, pool project that we didn't expect to have to do ourselves. I'm going to try to go over here and dig out a, a flat spot and start building a pad to, to start laying in a retaining wall to figure out the drainage. Um, then we'll move on to the next spot. But this is how life goes sometimes. So let's see what we can do. Over there on the side of that hill, I expect that to look different by the end of the day. Um, hopefully leveler with a, a spot for a retaining wall where I cut down in the side. Um, and then there's a stack of boulders over there that we'll figure out how to place. All with a little Kubota B2920 for now. Um, see if it'll do part of the job. So here I am. Uh basically just using the backhoe on the uh, tractor to do the majority of the digging and then as I get some stuff piled up I've decided to turn around and use the front end loader to move the material out of the way and really I can just take it kind of section by section here uh, to get everything moved and I'm trying basically to dig down a little bit deeper than that patio is right there um, just because I know that that's going to be the final grade of everything when I'm done. So I'm trying not to over dig, but I don't want to, uh, you know, go not dig enough to where I have to come back and re dig all of it again. And this kind of started at 8 a.m. I ran all the way till about noon on the 4th of July. We were, you know, I was just trying to see if I could get confidence to where we could actually dig this pool ourselves. And this was the first step is digging out to where I put this wall or to where I can put this wall in. As you can see in the back left corner there, there's just a, a load full of boulders that were dumped in my yard that I was going to have to deal with and put in. So, uh, and then right there where the wall is, where I'm stopping, there's actually a, uh, that's where all the power comes into the house. And I'd located that, so I was trying to stay away from it and give plenty of room. But overall, the little Kubota did fine, moving the material, and I uh, was very, very pleased at what it accomplished. All right, here's after about five hours of digging on the 4th of July level this thing out that little Kubota did all moved all that dirt it's not much dirt I know cut into the side of the hill it was rough you know just trying to make sure I don't go too deep yet but uh had to clean all that up um set some boulders it's time to go do some 4th of July stuff and be back at it tomorrow it's an interesting new project we'll see how it goes <laughs> 